Hi. This is also something that I play sometimes. That is just something nice that you can pick up your guitar and then you can simply improvise something uh, which is great and nice and comfy to listen to. And I thought I wanted to go through this piece that I just played. This is something that I improvised and it is when I play these kinds of things, this particular one, I, I'm first of all I'm using a capo on the fifth fret. And I'm thinking as I'm, I am in the territory of E major. So I'm using the E major scale. major as we have capo but let's speak about it as a as it if we would be down here okay so as a position E major position so I'm using that scale and I am also so I'm thinking as I'm making a short melody like two bars of that, of that and then I go up to this chord subdominant parallel if this would be E major this would be the F sharp minor and then I go down to the dominant which would be B but first inversion so the and then back to E again when I'm doing that, the important thing is that I think first of all the top the top notes here, the top notes uh, that I'm playing all the time are open strings, so that is that is fairly simple. And those notes they ring all the time as some kind of shimmer. And then the bass melody I play I want each note to ring out so one example of that is of course that is something I do all the time but especially when you are swapping from one chord to the other for example this so it can ring over to the next chord can go to B. That's a simple chord progression you can do. B to F sharp minor F sh F, and then B to E. And then on the next round you go to C sharp minor, A and B. And so I'm using the chord material like the sort of core chord material in each chord as the root of the improvisation. So basically E, G sharp or one third. And then I am I'm sort of around this note. Maybe go up to the fourth, back to the third, second, third. Before I shift over, then I go I mean, I have the same as the same melody, but I'm I'm changing the bass note. Could be one way of doing it.
tones ring into each other in a nice blend, as I've said. And then you can simply come up with... What I do is come up with, with simple melodies that sing themselves. Just give them space to speak, basically. It, it isn't more difficult. It doesn't have to be more difficult than that. But just in a nice, relaxed way, just give each note their own space. So there is no need to rush to the other note. That is a great thing that I learned um, once that um, each note have their own space and can have their own time to ring out and speak. Um, so it's not necessarily like a conversation when everyone has to speak at the same time and it's kind of crowded and you have to sort of punch out your lines. Um, however, they can just have their own space and sometimes you can give them, a, give them a little push, like maybe. To the next chord, and that is quite interesting musically when you're changing to the to another chord. Maybe you also do a little ritardando before going to the next one. Of course it's optional to play however you want. These are some tips that you can have with you when you're playing these kinds of things. Uh, when I play it, it, it feels like this is what wants to speak. Just let the notes have their own space and listen to your heart what wants to be played. I wish you good luck with your playing and improvisation.